This is SAM 26000, which is basically a highly modified Boeing 707. SAM standing for Special Air Missions. It was the first jet-powered presidential aircraft entering service in 1962 when President Kennedy was in office. The light blue and white paint scheme was developed by the First Lady Jackie Kennedy with the help of an industrial designer, a color scheme that remains on presidential aircraft to this very day. This is the very airplane that took President Kennedy to Dallas, Texas that fateful day in November 1963 where he was assassinated. Hours later, Vice President Lyndon Johnson was sworn in as the new president inside this aircraft. The aircraft remained in service for 38 years, carrying Presidents Kennedy through Clinton. Let's take a look inside. Entering the cabin, to the left is the flight deck. complete with a flight engineer position. The communication station. Galley. Seating for staff and crew. Behind the wall to the left is the presidential lavatory. And this is the president's private suite. an old TV set, the President's stateroom, This area was for the presidential staff and is where President Johnson was sworn in. A copy machine. Some VIP seating. Right here is where President Kennedy's casket was placed for the return flight to Washington. The President's Galley. More lavatories. Then exit and back outside. And that is the last presidential aircraft we're going to look at. I hope you enjoyed walking through these airplanes and seeing what it was like to travel with the president. Until the next time, remember, life is a journey. Enjoy the ride and thanks for watching.